Psych2Goers, and welcome back to our channel. Your ongoing love and support has helped us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and we want to thank you for that. Now, let's begin. Most of us are too busy feeling butterflies or planning outfits or composing text messages in the early days of new relationships to consider anything else. Your budding relationship is filled with romantic inclinations, daydreams, and first kisses. But with all that excitement in the air, it can be easy to lose sight of the red flags and warning signs that they may not be the right fit for you. So, how do you know if you're falling for someone who isn't right for you? In this video, we'll talk about seven signs you're falling for the wrong person. One, you censor yourself around them. Do you hold your tongue when you're around your partner? Are you afraid that they may get upset with you if you say the wrong thing? As Ellen Bolin, a relationship coach for Bustle Digital stated, you'll never want to disappoint or rock the boat. So you worry about how your partner is going to react to what you may want or need. If you find that you're struggling to communicate effectively with your partner, that could be a red flag and can cause bigger problems for you down the road if you stay in that relationship. Number two, your relationship makes you emotionally exhausted. Does your relationship stress you out more than not? Do you feel sad and stuck with this person? Dating expert Samantha Daniel says that a good relationship should leave you feeling energized, not drained, and that you might be exhausted by the front you're putting up when you're around them. If spending time with your partner exhausts you like this, you might be dating the wrong person. Number three, you don't feel safe in your relationship. Has your partner ever been verbally abusive or physically violent? If they've ever threatened your safety, then it's best to get out of that relationship. It's important to take whatever necessary steps you need to remove yourself from an abusive situation and surround yourself with people who can ensure your safety. Psychologist Cred Malkin states that many abuse survivors cling to the positive traits in their partners, like being affectionate and reliable. But what may feel like love is often actually fear or distorted hope. Four, you don't see a future together. Do you see yourself happier when you think about not being with your partner? This could be a sign that you two are not compatible with each other. Maybe your goals don't align with theirs, or you're both on different trajectories in life. Whatever the reason is, it's best to discern between your infatuation and lasting love. This will help you see the situation under a clear lens and help you decide if you should stay in the relationship or not. Five, your family and friends haven't met them. Is there something holding you back from introducing your partner to your family and friends? Chances are there's something about this person you wouldn't want your friends or family to know about. If it's hard for you to integrate them into your inner circle, this is another sign that they aren't a great fit. Number six, having a relationship is their only interest. Does it seem like your partner's pursuit of a relationship is their only true interest? Having endeavors outside of your relationship is important. If they're not actively pursuing their passion, career, or shy away from talking of their future plans, then it might be time to step back and take a good, long, hard look at them to determine if they're going to stick around. And number seven, you're thinking of someone else. It's important to note that having small crushes or finding someone else attractive does not mean that you need a new partner. Rather, it could signify that there may be problems that need to be addressed in your current relationship. A team of relationship counselors from the United Kingdom encouraged those in this position to have an open discussion with their partner, asking questions such as, do we spend as much time together as we used to? And do we still set aside time for fun? Having this discussion with your partner can help you both find ways new to reconnect and reignite your spark. Have you ever fallen for the wrong person before? Or been in any of these situations before? Let us know in the comments below. We also wanted to let you know that there are resources for domestic abuse in the description. If you think you are in an abusive situation, we want to encourage you to reach out for help. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it can help someone else too. The studies and resources used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.